voila, we are here. What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? Uh, thrift store vlog. Here we are. I'm at Karen Share Thrift Shop here in Sauterton, Pennsylvania. Uh, this place is pretty cool. They have an outlet store, just like Goodwill Outlet Store. You pay per the pound. You weigh it. You pay it. Um, you're in. You're out. These are my favorite kind of you know thrift stores because everyone knows you know I like to buy stuff cheap. I like to sell stuff cheap. I do a lot in volume, so these places are great for me. Um, Last time I was here, I actually found a white Opel Pyrex unmarked. I don't know if it'd be like a condiment dish. It'd be like a like a mustard or a ketchup, you know, cup or bowl. Um, apparently, it's very rare. Or actually, actually, in the apparently, it was called extremely rare in one of the Pyrex books that my friend has. So, um, hoping to find more stuff, find cool stuff. Uh, I went to I went to another thrift store earlier today. I already picked up a bunch of stuff. I spent $18 there. I picked up some nice things. I'll include that into my haul portion of this video. My hauls, my finds. I want to do just an outlet video today. So I wasn't going to incorporate, you know, obviously other thrift stores into this video, just the outlets. This would be pretty neat, but um, looks like somebody put in a dishwasher. More treasures coming out over there. What we got here? Happy holidays. Happy holiday or happy holidays? I'll see what this weighs. So those things are great for Christmas time, and it's pretty much close to Christmas time. So with that in mind, I'm going to try to pick that up. I'll see what it weighs. I think it probably weighs like half a pound, so that'd be 25 cents. It's only 49 cents a pound here. So with that in mind, I'll pick that up and sell it for a dollar or two dollars. Thank you, Tony. Silver plate. So most silver plate is actually brass. So yellow brass is priced at like a dollar forty a pound. So if this is brass, it's worth it just to scrap it essentially. But I, mean, I think somebody would give you a buck for it. If not, it's going to scrap home. That looks like stainless. Oh, lids. I need to pick up as many Pyrex lids as I can. This one might be too big. Uh, uh, all right. Hopefully they're all right.
pretty sure I had the same poster in, in middle school or elementary school. Pretty cool. I don't know. I don't know. So uh, wrapping up here at uh, Karen Shear. As you see, this is kind of what it looks like on the outside. They have a variety store, and I think it's every third Friday of the month. I believe that's what it is. All the stores. So the outlet, this. They have a furniture store down there. Every single store is 50% off everything they have every third Friday of the month. Um, the variety store is a little expensive. If it has a name on it, if it's Pyrex, something like that, it's usually like 8 10 bucks a bowl regardless of what it is. They do have an online eBay site, so all the best stuff does not end up at the store. Um, but I just picked up probably, I don't know, 18 or 19 bags of golf balls. So welcome back for the recap of the, the thrift store day. Uh, the most stuff that I, well actually I picked up so much stuff that I have to kind of do like two parts. I have to clean off my whole table and do the second part. Uh, most of the stuff came from the outlet store. Uh, they also had a variety store at this complex, which I picked up a bunch of other things at. So I'll do a little recap of what I picked up. Also went to Salvation Army. Um, all this stuff here. And this sign came from the outlet store. I have another box right here. We'll have to do a second part. Uh, and probably like three shirts came from the outlet. Uh, the majority of the other, the other stuff came from either Salvation Army or the variety thrift store at the outlet complex that's where, all these, that's where all these golf balls came from but I'll get to that in a second I actually picked up two of these you'll see this in the second part this is the cleaner one nice little decorative tub uh, federal nice little federal bowl it's a smaller one these I thought were neat they originally had a price tag of 450 and uh, they're painted so they are pretty neat they're frosted don't really know much about them, but at this store it's 49 cents a pound, so I mean that, that's probably not even 25 cents worth right there. Pick this up, made in India. I think I'm going to just scrap it. I believe it is brass. Inside looks like brass, and everything in terms of metal wise pretty much comes from everything that's metal wise that comes from India is generally brass. If it looks like a brass, it says made in India. More likely or not, it's brass. So I'm thinking this is probably that. I'm going to scrap it. Like I was saying, if you can pick up metal for a third of the price of scrap, pick it up. If you can't sell it, scrap it. This might weigh close to a pound, and a pound of brass is worth a dollar fifty or a dollar sixty. And right there, it was forty-nine cents a pound. So I'm going to just scrap it. I know it's hard to sell brass at the flea market, and people want to pay you less than scrap value. So I just scrap it pretty much. Pyrex scalloped bowls. I think they're custard bowls. They're 10 ounces. I don't know. They're Pyrex. They're a little bit older. There was two. So I decided to pick them up. They don't weigh much. 
this nice little basket, metal basket, I guess it'd be. It's kind of like a bin. Thought it was different, looked nice. Picked up two of these radio flyer wagon. This one has it on the side. This doesn't, it has it on the back though. So I decided to pick these up. I think they're a pretty nice decorative piece. Five bucks a piece at the flea market probably. This I also picked up at the outlet store. Not really much to it, but this is something that come Christmas time will definitely sell at the flea market. So might as well pick it up. It's an easy, simple sign. Probably can get three bucks at the market. Probably only paid about 30 cents, 25 cents for it. So I like the deal in volume. This didn't pick this up at the outlet store, but it was just put out recently. Only 99 cents. Don't really know what it is. I just thought it looked really neat. A vase, a pot, something. I don't know. For a dollar, man, it's nice. I think it's nice. Picked up this baseball glove, old Wilson glove, probably from the 50s, I bet. It was only $2, so nice older piece. This I got at the Salvation Army. It was uh, $5. It's yellow tag, so it was probably put out either today or yesterday. It's a little beat up on that one side. Pepsi, old Pepsi crate, always are nice. Easy sells at the flea market. You should generally get about 10 to 15 bucks for them at the market. Put them online, get anywhere from 20 to 25. I'd rather get cash in $15 than try to get 25 online. It's just a personal preference. Some people think differently. But it's always nice to pick these up because these definitely sell and they sell quick. So if you ever find these, definitely try to buy them. This is the only thing I got at the Goodwill at store. There's another guy there scanning every single book. He was definitely an Amazoner, I guess you'd call it, but he didn't get to this quick enough. It is this cost 27 cents at the, the outlet store, so which is good. Golf balls got a lot of golf balls. Um, you'll see there's a lot of Titleist golf balls in here. Titleist, um, Titleist, Titleist. More title list. Every single title list golf ball, except for maybe four of them, are Pro V1s. Uh, you look at this one right here, there's a bunch in here. So you got Pro, Pro V1X, Pro V1X, Pro V1, Pro V1 392. I said this in recent videos, if you ever come across golf balls, Titleist Pro V1s, any of them V1s, V1X, V1 392, V1X 392, any of those. Huge sellers, great on eBay, get anywhere from 40 cents to a dollar a piece for them used. When you can pick up 3, 6, 9, 12, let's say there's 8 or 10 golf balls in here for $10 that are Pro V1s, you know, you end up making a decent amount in the grand scheme of thing when you do volume. So definitely a huge hit for myself. The other golf balls I'll probably keep. There's some Callaways in here, but um, Pro V1s, so they're the ones you want. I don't know, I'll probably make about 50 or $60 of profit off all these. It's a lot of work, gotta wash it once, but they do sell well. So if you ever come across golf balls, definitely take out your Pro V1 golf balls. And any of the sum series of the Pro V1 Titleist golf balls are, are the number one golf ball you want to sell. So here's the second portion of the pickup video. Another small tub. This one's a little bit smaller. I guess it's about four inches smaller than the other one. Uh, these pieces right here, I'm going to scrap them. They're solid brass. I don't even know what they're for, but I picked them up for scrap this as well. These uh, candlesticks are very difficult to sell. And it's good, you know. Otherwise, they're going to throw them out eventually. They get refined into more metal. Saving the earth. This, I guess, is silver plate. Once again, probably want to scrap this. I will take it to the flea market and ask three or five bucks. There's no name on the bottom. There's no name on the bottom. It is kind of neat, so hopefully somebody will pick it up, but I'm not going to sell for less than scrap value. Got to understand your alternatives. understand, you know, the bottom dollar of things, uh, especially when you're able to do other things as well, as, other than just selling in one market. Nice ruler. This thing probably only costs a dime or a nickel, if that. I just thought it was neat, nice old wooden ruler, straight edge. Kind of reminds you of the old days, school-wise. Nice, great one. Wayne Gretzky Rangers poster. Still brand new mint, taken to the flea market. I would keep it for myself, but 
I don't really hoard this kind of stuff anymore. If there's ever a guy you want for hockey, it's definitely Wayne Gretzky. I know in every sport has their special player that sells very well. Hockey, Wayne Gretzky, NASCAR, Dale Earnhardt, basketball, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, uh, not LeBron James, Michael Jordan, uh, football, Troy Aikman, John Elway. A lot of the big name guys sell pretty well, so that's definitely a nice piece. This is really nice. Uh, I guess it's broken. Nice silver plate. It's 1990 on the bottom. 4H52. I don't know what it is, what brand it is. Pretty nice piece. It does have a dent in it, but that's silver plate, and that's really nice. So, simple Pyrex lid. I always try to pick these up, especially when they're cheap. Another one. And then for clothes. Did pick up a bunch of clothes today. So you got a USA Olympics t-shirt, vintage 90s. I think it's made by Fruit of Loom, but definitely a vintage t-shirt. This one's cool, Longwood Lancers. As you see by my shirt, this is my, that's my alma mater. I graduated there, I believe in 2013. So if you ever wonder what my age was, I graduated college in 2013. Uh, that's my alma mater. So whenever I come across apparel from my college, I try to pick it up, especially if it's not like a sports team. I've come across Longwood uh, soccer, Longwood golf, cross. Just, it's something I would never wear. So whenever I come across my size, my school, my university, definitely pick it up. This is only three bucks. It was half off, so it was a dollar fifty. I come across maybe one every nine or ten months for something for my school. And considering I live about four hundred miles away, it's hard to find. Eagles vintage logo. Eagles. Penguins t-shirt, New York Giants, more New York Giants, nice old school Pittsburgh Steelers sweatshirt, Kansas Jayhawks, Columbia University, Texas Longhorns, Virginia Tech, Kansas State, Cedar Crest College, which is really weird because I sell a lot of Cedar Crest College things. It's a very, very small school that's local. Liberty University, I've actually, I think I've shown this shirt, I've shown this shirt before and I've sold it, so I picked up another one. Say College, Kansas University again, and a nice vintage Real Madrid, I believe it's a 96 jersey made by Adidas. 1996 is when they came out with that style, so nice old school look. That's gonna wrap it up for today's vlog. I know a lot of people like to watch these treasure hunting vlogs. If you guys wanna see more treasure hunting videos just like this, please hit the like button so I know you guys are enjoying these videos. And as always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.